also a little girl in a car episode. And um, somebody came to visit us at our home. And that's how we found out about Compassionate Friends. For 33 years, the group The Compassionate Friends has helped grieving families cope with losing a child. After being inactive for the last few years, the group is back in business thanks to West Texas Counseling and Guidance and the Katrina Cardenas Endowment Fund for Grieving Parents. It's a support group. Um, I've heard many, many beautiful stories tonight about how this group has become their family, the compassionate friends, and so we're just so grateful to be able to be a part of this and have this opportunity for our community. The group will be meeting weekly beginning December 19th at the First United Methodist Church downtown and hopes to help grieving families especially during the holiday season. Whatever it is that you celebrate, I know that can be hard when there's a void in your heart and you're missing someone special. And so um, we thought that this was an opportune time to do the Christmas ceremony and really remember those who are special during this time of year. It's just truly really been a gift from God, the, the timing, the volunteers. Um, as we know, the true meaning of Christmas, of course, is God gave his son so we can have everlasting life and God knows our pain and hopefully we can um, embellish that and not you know turn away from that. For News Connection, I'm Amanda Lozano.